Hey, what is up, everybody? I hope y'all are staying safe out there. Hopefully, y'all are healthy for the most part. Um, just taking the precautions that you need to take during this crazy time. Um, I know I haven't uploaded anything in quite some time, and that is because of this virus that's going around. I really haven't been buying anything for, like, mail, nothing that's really, uh, noteworthy, or I'd be, like, too impatient, and I haven't been, uh, going to any store, so I have nothing to rip for you. So that's why I've not been uploading. I just really haven't had anything. But, uh, then I had an idea. Uh, what I decided to do, just to upload something, is I'm gonna go ahead and go over my top ten favorite, uh, carry-on autographs and, uh, cards in my collection. Um, as many of you know, I do have a Super PC of Carry On. I think there's like a good 40, 50 autographs in there. Uh, close to 200, like, uh, numbered cards and inserts in general of him. Uh, that I've counted. I've got a whole box somewhere. I think I, uh, I think it's out there. Out in the other room. I'm not gonna grab it right now. But... Um, if you stick around, if you, I'm going to tell you, like, the story, the backstory of all of them that I've got, as if I can remember. And if you stick around, I might have a little giveaway for you. Uh, I know, I'll, f I'll figure out a way to send it out, but I'll have a little giveaway for you. So, without further ado, let's begin with an honorable mention. Um, from Honors. See that joke I did there? Um, we have this Carry On Johnson. Uh, honors autograph classics. Um, it is numbered 62 of 75. I bought this one from my friend Mike Ng. I got this and quite a few other cards for 15 bucks, which I have spent a lot more on uh, cards in here than 15 bucks. And this is a nice one to get, I would say. Really love the classics design from 2018. I love how they uh, put his uh, Lions uniform right there. This is the one where he got injured, I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of unfortunate that they had to use this picture. But that is okay. That is an honorable mention, as I said. Because I do like the design of it. But the only reason why it's not making a list is because I know the game that's from. Alright. Number 10 on the list. We have... This Carry On Johnson Origins RPA. Uh, the reason why this is on the list is more of a sentimental thing. I do love the design of Origins. I know it's not numbered or anything. But this is the first Carry On Johnson card in general that I've bought. Uh, this is when he first got drafted. I really liked his highlight reel and everything. This is when I was first getting into cards. Like, seriously, I had cards way back. Um... Well, not like way back, but I had a couple cards. I bought a couple boxes before, but this was when I really wanted to start getting into it. This is when I first like met Bugs Breaks, I'm pretty sure. As you can see on the mat. Good friends with them now. But, um, yeah, this is the first one I ever bought. It was on eBay. I think it was like 20 bucks when Carry On Sale was actually pretty hot. Now I can probably get this for 7 bucks, but that's not bad. I might get one, but... I might get another one because I have other cards. But there you go. That's number 10 on the list. Carry on Johnson RPA from Origins. Number 9 on the list is a uh, newer one that I picked up. You have this Carry on Johnson uh, playbook booklet. Uh, I can't remember what's number 2. I think it's uh, out of 125. I have it covered by the uh, painter's tape just so it would like, stay in there. But uh, I think I picked this one up for like 7 bucks shipped. Which, for a carry-on booklet, I'm not going to pass that up. I did have to buy the top loader for it, but that's okay. Considering what the card is, how much I like carry-on. did not have a carry-on booklet in the collection, so I decided to pick this one up. Uh, I think the only reason why it was 7 bucks is because that corner is kind of dinged right there. But it's not bad enough for it to, like, really be much anything. But yeah, 7 bucks Can't beat it. Number 9 on the list. Number 8 is the one that got in a trade from Mikey B. It is this Carry On Johnson on card uh, autograph from Donner's Optic. Red. Number 27 to 50. Not much to say. I love on card autographs. 
love downer optic. Just a nice card. This is what I'm not gonna like go too much into because it's just that. Just love the red. Love love downer optic from last year. I didn't like it as much this year for some reason, but I haven't picked up anything really from that set. But there you go, number eight on the list. Downer optic on card. Carry on. Uh, number seven is one that I did get in a rack, which is really crazy. We have this encased Carry On Johnson, graded 9.5, um, 24 of 25. I think I did mention on card. Uh, this one I got from a rack from a Chattelac card. He won this in a res and decided to send it over my way for uh, some odd reason. I think I had it in a video way back. But uh, the only reason why it's not higher on the list is because when I got it, this uh, there was a little uh, scratch right here, which it won't focus on it right now. But like that little scuff right there. And plus, I have a lot of other cards that I love in this list. These I love these like basically all evenly. But like, you know, I had to make a list somehow. So there you go, number seven. I'm pretty sure. Is this carry on encased grade in 9.5 on card from encased number six is a one is also a really nice card also number of 25 this one is 25 of 25 we have this flawless carry on RPA um, I really love flawless really hate the price point considering what you get in here you like think about it I know I love carry on but think about getting like a two thousand dollar case of uh cards and then i'm getting carry on as your rpa which uh i would love i would personally love that as a pc thing but i know a lot of other friends of mine wouldn't like that but that's okay i got this one on ebay um i think this one did get damaged in the mail i had like a really bad uh thing with them that came in the little we're sorry thing which Obviously, USPS does not care, but that's okay. It's not bad enough for me to, like, be really sad about it. There's really nothing. I got really lucky with it. The top loader was destroyed, but the card itself, the only thing is that there's a ding right there. But it was like an eBay purse for, like, 15 bucks, which is not bad at all. So you go. Number six on the list, I think. Okay, so we have five, four, three, two, one, two. I might have an extra card in here. It doesn't matter. Um, number five on the list, number six, pretty sure, is that carrying on flawless. I can't even count, probably. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Yeah, that's number six. So, number five on the list is another racked card. This one's from Buxia Breaks. This is carrying on Johnson Panini One, number 12 of 15, on card autograph. Um, one of my first things that I got from them. I think I I can't remember how I got this really besides like the rack part. I can't remember when I got it, if I got it with anything else. But um just a beautiful card in general. I loved I loved the design of Panini one. But uh for one card thing for one card it's the price range is kinda off considering if you check the prices of these uh carry on autographs. Which I don't mind, obviously, me buying them up. But, uh, yeah. Just a beautiful card. Penny One is a great design uh, product. Just wish uh, their price point was better. But other than that, nothing to complain about here. Just a clean looking autograph for number five on the list. Number four might surprise some people on how low on the list it is. Um, yeah, there's four here. Um, number four on the list is this one of one, uh, touchdown, carry on Johnson autograph. This one I did get in a rack as well. As you can tell, there is a theme here going on. Um, the only reason why it's so low, actually it's really not, all, all, of, all four of these are like, they're really hard to pick through. Honestly. Um, it's really, just like, there's really no order here, never mind, it's not low. I love this card. Um, it's a stickered auto, obviously. It is playoff. And it's a lower end product, but a one of one autograph. A bag digging a rag, which is crazy. Insane card. 
Um, real numbers to say, I think I got this one from Travis Webb. Yeah, he wrecked this one to me. So that was really awesome of him. I still thank you for all that. I think everybody that's wrecked me. I mean, my collection wouldn't be where it is without you guys. There you go. Number four on the list is the carry-on. I think all but number one is a rack from here. Speaking of which, another one of one. NFL Shield, carry-on Johnson. Um, like I said, this is a game where he got injured last year. Um, not much to say here. Luminance is such a clean product. I loved how they did Luminance this year. In my first NFL Shield, and this is my first carry-on one of one. I got this one from uh, Christian Marino. He picked this up for me. I was taking a look at it, not knowing that I wasn't going to be able to purchase it myself. Then all of a sudden, he says, I made a purchase, and he just tells me to send his ad me his address. And then he sends me uh, what he picked up, and I kind of flipped out. Because obviously, as you can see, one of one. Just a crazy card here. Um, not much to say after that. Just a clean card, like I said. One of one. Number three on the list. Uh, number two is the last track here. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, nah. We'll just show it. Oh. You know what? There are two cards here. Um, so, my list is a little bit off. But let's just put this in here. Why not? Um, tied for number two. Why not? Uh, is this a uh, carry on Johnson case hit that I got in a rack as well? Um, as many of you know, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Instagram, if you're on any of those platforms and you follow me, I have the uh, rainbow going on, and all I need is the one of one, and this is basically what started it. Uh, this one I got from Andrew Butler or Amigo Sniped on Twitter and Instagram. Um,. He sent this along with a couple other carry-on cards, which were awesome. But when I saw this card, I knew I had to have it somehow. I was going to buy it at one point, but I just love the look of Zebra cards. A lot of people don't like the design of the egg die cuts, as they call them, but me, personally, I love it. So there you go. Uh, tie for number two is this carry-on case hit from 2018 Select. And the other one that's tied for number two is this Super Fractor uh, Contenders Optic Carry On from this year. I am starting the rainbow on this as well. I have the base and the first off the line. I did get the base in the mail this morning, along with the select uh, carry on. But this is my first uh, gold vinyl Super Fractor one of one. Just to prove it's a one of one. There it is on the back. Uh, like I said from this year, um, I got this one also. It was in a trade slash rack thing because I really did not trade that much. I just showed. I think it was uh, like DK Chancellor. Yeah, DK Chancellor on Twitter. Um, huge Seahawks fan. I think I traded him like two Metcalf relics and a Mago autograph. I just showed him what I had. He just said to show me anyway uh, what I had when it comes to Seahawks, which a lot of my Seahawks are with. Uh, Revenge Hurts. And he decided that he would send this over my way, which was absolutely insane. So I thank you so much for that. And there you go. There's the Contenders Optic 1 of 1. Um, like I said before, I'm looking for the rainbow. If you have anything on that, let me know. And number 1 on the list is a purchase. Very recent purchase. It is, if you can't tell by now, I do love Select. It is this out of five. Carry on Johnson RPA with the sick, sick logo patch. Um, two of five. I uh, purchased this one on eBay uh, like a couple weeks back. Um, just love this card. Just love the design. Just everything about this card is just perfect, in my opinion. Um,. I don't know about you, but like Select is probably the best um, release of the year. I always just look up to it every year, although I wasn't able to buy any Select this year, unfortunately. So there you have it. There is my top 10. So now 
let's get on with the giveaway. Um, what I have to give away is nothing too special. Um, I'm be giving away this Josiah Price autograph and this uh, Terrence Scannaway autograph, along with some PC stuff. All I want you to do, since a lot of you have nothing to do while you're self-quarantining, I want you guys to uh, go ahead and I want you to send me a response video showing your top 10 favorite cards in your PC. It can be a player, it can be a team, it can just be whatever. Whatever cards are your favorite. Um, just whenever when you do it, just uh, send the link to the video in the comment section. Or DM me on Twitter, and I'll put you all in random, and I will random it. Um, oh, I'll find I'll find a way. I'll find a way. I'll probably make a video showing the random. I'll have to grab my uh, cracked Kindle Fire, of course. Actually, no, I can use a laptop. I can use a laptop. I know I have a laptop somewhere. Um, but yeah, what are you going to win? Uh, depending on what you do, we have the uh, two autographs, and we'll have a... Bunch of PC stuff for you. I'll find a way for uh, to send it out to you. But that is going to be it. Um, like I said, hopefully uh, you all are staying healthy. Hopefully you guys are uh, finding stuff to do. Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy, like I said. Uh, if you want to get into the giveaway, do what I ask for you to. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.